If you're looking for Artemis, goddess of the hunt, you need to make your way to this spot right over here at Mount Olympus. It's going to be like the giant temple where uh, Zeus used to be in the previous season as like a god boss. And you're going to find her right here next to the uh, throne. Here we go. So this is Artemis, as you can see right here. And you can talk to her to either get yourself an epic Harbinger SMG for 300 gold. Or of course, you can go ahead and hire Artemis for 200 gold. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Backbone, you need to make your way to this spot right here, which is the mansion at Rebel's Roost. And you're going to find him right over here, as you can see. He's going to be chilling inside. And you can talk to them to either get yourself a hammer pump shotgun, an epic version for 200 gold. You can get Nitro Splash for 150. Or you can just talk to them about uh, like random stuff like Megalodon or Kiara, so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic idea. This is like the exact location, as you can see right here. So just go there and you can talk to them. If you want to talk to Bravo Leader, you need to make your way to this spot right over here, which is going to be the Ship It Express factory right between Nitrodrome and Pleasant Piazza. And it's going to be right inside of the factory. This is not a very well-known place, especially after the uh, TMNT uh, collab. Really, nobody comes here anymore. So here we go. There he is right there. Hey there, buddy. So this is uh, Bravo Leader. You can talk to them to either get yourself a Warforge Assault Rifle, the epic version for 300 gold. This is like one of my favorite uh, assault rifles ever in the game. And of course, you can uh, hire Bravo Leader for 200 gold. If you want to talk to Bright Trader, you need to make your way to this spot right here, south of the map, right over here. So that's where you're going to find Bright Trader on that like mini tiny island next to like a RV looking shack. Also, she's part of the uh, storyline, by the way. She's uh, uh, like she's she's the one that starts the second part of the quest lines. Here we go. You got like a bunch of cactuses here or cacti, I guess. That's the plural of cactus. Yeah, this is a dope spot. So this is Bright Raider, as you can see right here. And you can just talk to her to either get yourself a boom bolt, an epic version for 300 gold. You can get a repair torch for one of the current quests right now for 25 gold. Or you can just ask her about a couple of stuff. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Centurion, you need to make your way to this spot right over here. It's going to be this north island, literally north of the entire map. And we're going to find him roaming on the island itself. And you can just go ahead and talk to him. This is what it's going to look like. Here we go. So this is him. And you can just simply speak to him to either get yourself an epic combat shotgun, which is one of the strongest uh, shotguns in the game, for 300 gold. Or you can, of course, hire Centurion for 200 gold. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to talk to Cerberus, you need to make your way to this spot right over here on the map. It's going to be uh, Grimgate, and it's going to be roaming around where he used to be as a boss, but now he's just an interactable NPC. So here we go. So this is Cerberus. And you can talk to him to either challenge him for a mythic uh, shotgun, or you can just ask him about stuff. If you want to talk to Kiara, you need to make your way to this spot right over here, which is Grand Grace here. I haven't been here in such a long time, man. Let me just eliminate this NPC. There we go. So this is Kiara, as you can see. It's pronounced Kiara, right? Maybe Shiara? Chiara, maybe? Ah, I'm not too sure. So this is the exact location, as you can see right here. You can just come here and talk to them to either get yourself... Uh, ooh, what is this? Okay, I'm going to try this, but let's see. Uh, you can get chocolate grenades for 100 gold, or you can ask about a bunch of stuff. I want to see what this does. If you need it. Okay. What do I buy? Let's change the word, yeah? If you need it, you can't. Why? <laughs> I can't buy anything. Maybe it's something that's going to be enabled in the future. All right. If you want to talk to Chopper, you need to make your way through this tunnel right over here. So this is the location of the tunnel, by the way. It's going to be right over here. There's no real landmarks around it. If I had to pick, I would say it's going to be right next to Mount Olympus around this way. So just make your way to this spot and you're going to find the tunnel and just go through it. And you're going to find the newest NPC, Chopper. Not Chopper from One Piece, of course, but another Chopper. And you can just simply talk to them and you can get yourself, uh, you can buy some uh, weird stuff. You can uh, get a boom bolt, an epic one for three, for 300 gold or you can get yourself healed. This is probably a bug because whenever I click it, it just says, sure, why not? <laughs> Doesn't really give me anything. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic idea. If you want to talk to Hope, you need to make your way to Sandy Steps, which is all the way over here. Now, if you didn't know, this season is all about Hope and Jones. They both are trying to track down Megalodon and figure out what he's trying to do. So all you gotta do is just make your way to this house right here of Sandy Steps, and you're gonna find uh, you're gonna find uh, Hope chilling around there. You're also gonna be talking to her a lot this season. Like I said, she is part of the main quest line. There we go. There she is. She's on the porch. We got somebody landing here.
Let's take a weapon just in case. In case somebody pops up. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> she played hard to hide and seek. Okay, let's go through here. There she is. So this is Hope, as you can see, and you can talk to her to either get yourself a tactical assault rifle, the epic version, which is a very strong AR, uh, a shock, shock grenade for 100, which is very good for mobility. Not so much now that we have the uh, Ride the Lightning item, which is super, super OP, but when that gets vaulted, this is going to be the next best thing. Or, of course, you can just ask her about the season if you want, like to know about the gods, the Oracle, or Valeria. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Rust, you need to make your way to this airstrip right over here. And you're going to find him at the bottom part, chilling. Here we go. So this is Rust, as you can see. This is his exact location. Let me just go right over here. It's going to be west, like southwest of the map, right behind uh, Peasant Piazza and Sandy Steps. So it's going to be right here. This is the airstrip. And you can simply talk to him to either get yourself uh, an epic combat shotgun, which is one of the strongest weapons out there for 300 gold. You can get yourself a nitro splash for 150. Or you can just ask about random stuff. So let's see. Anything strange? If you can believe it, yeah. Wastelands full of weirdness. Some call it uh, the weird land. Okay. But recently, there's been this figure in the distance. They don't scare me, of course, but I've heard they scare other people. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to talk to Oscar, you need to make your way to this spot right over here, which is going to be located at Classy Court inside this building. And it's going to be roaming around. Sometimes he's on the lower floor, sometimes he's on the top floor. So I'm just going to locate him and I'm going to go talk to him. Let me just drink this. Here we go. It's chilling. So this is Oscar as you can see. You can talk to them to either get yourself... Ooh, oh my god. You can challenge them for a mythic... I think it's a mythic shotgun. Okay, and you can uh, talk to them about either backstory or the society. Okay, we'll start with the backstory. I didn't grow up in a, uh, as a society brat like Nisha and Hope. I fought for everything I got. I earned it. First on the streets, then in the ring, then in the society. And whatever comes next, I'll earn that too. All right. And then for the society, we survived the wrath of the gods barely. Montague and Valeria both ran off good riddance. And Nisha, poor little rich girl, will have to build a life for herself now. If you don't know my name, you're not worth my time. Okay. If you want to talk to Peabody, you need to make your way to this spot right over here. So let me just go through this train track. And I can't believe like they stopped the train on some sand, dude. I really I really wanted them to bring back the train for this uh, for the season. Especially like a chaotic post-apocalyptic season. It would have been absolutely perfect. So this is Peabody right here, as you can see. It's literally three uh, three peas in a pod. I don't know. <laughs> so this is him right here. Uh, he, has, he has one of the coolest emotes out there. You can find it on my shorts videos if you want. It's called Peabody something. I'm not too sure. But you can uh, talk to him and get yourself an epic hammer pump shotgun for 300 gold. You can get the Nitro Splash, which is very OP for 150. Or you can get a, report, a repair torch if you want to repair your cars for 25 gold, which is pretty cheap. Or of course, you can just ask him about random stuff. And yeah, uh, so just let me just show you the exact location. You can just come right over here this is the gas station where you can find them just south of nitrodrome and yeah that's it if you want to talk to pili you need to make your way to restored wheels and you're gonna find him chilling around the ruins right here he's usually in the middle part right over here hopefully nobody hired him or killed him oh there we go i'm not too sure if you can hire him as well so i'm gonna have to go and check so he's all the way over here this is like the roman version of uh, of pili so it's got like a weird name. Let's see. Uh, Philosopher Bananacrats. Is that it? <laughs> okay. So this is Petey right here. And you can just talk to him to get yourself a shield bubble junior for 100 gold. You can get healed up if, you have, if you're missing HP. Or you can just ask him about Nana or Nana Nana. Okay. That's, that's pretty funny. So uh, basically you can find him right over here. Let me just show you the exact location. Just come right here at this part of Restored Wheels. And you're going to be able to find Petey. If you want to talk to Power Cord, you need to make your way to this spot right over here. Ooh. There we go. So this is Power Cord, as you can see. And you can talk to her to either get yourself a Thunderburst SMG for 300 gold, Nitro Splash for 150 gold, or you can just ask her about stuff, So as you can see right here. So let me just ping you the exact location for Power Cord. It's going to be right over here, east of the underworld. This used to be like a train station, so this is it right here. And yeah, let's see this idea. If you want to talk to Riot, you need to make your way to this factory right over here. It's going to be right at this location, northeast of the map, right behind uh, Classic Courts and Gla Grand Glacier. And again, you're going to find him inside the factory itself. So here we go. This is him right here. This is Riot. 
You can either get yourself the hand cannon for 300 gold, you can get the flowberry fizz for, uh, for, for 100 gold, or you can ask him about a couple of things, including the coastal romance, which is also a secret quest. But that, of course, is for another video. The reason why it's like that is because it has an interrogation mark and an exclamation mark. This means it's a secret quest. So, yeah, again, if you want to know what that is or what that's about, just write coastal romance, noobner fruit, and you will find the uh, video specifically for it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to talk to Ruckus, you need to make your way to this shipyard right over here, which is a great place to farm metal if you're playing competitive or playing build mode. This is literally the best place to farm yourself some metal. So it's going to be right behind uh, Brawler's Battleground and Red Line Rig. rig red Line Rig, such a tough name to say. You just make your way here, and you can find Ruckus literally ruckusing through this place. Let's go here. Let me make sure that this bot is uh, is dead. We just grab this stuff right here. Nice, we get more musical notes. In case you're wondering how to activate those musical notes, uh, just write music music notes, noob noob fruit, and you find a video explaining everything you need to know about how to get them and to unlock the Metallica poster, which is this right here. There's a little bit of a tangent, but as you can see right here, I'm on stage eight, almost done with it, and you can see I uh, I'm super close to completing the entire poster. All right, so back to Ruckus. This is him right here. You can talk to them to get yourself a boom bolt, an epic one for 300 gold. You can hire Ruckus for 200. I believe he's an explosive specialist. He throws a lot, of, uh, a bunch of explosives at players, so he's very good to hire. Or of course, you can just ask him about either Kiara's chums or Megalodon. So this is again the exact location for Ruckus in case you're interested. It's gonna be right over here. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to T60 Power Armor, which is a very, very OP NPC that a lot of people seem to be hiring, you need to make your way to this little, like, cliff over here. And you're going to find him in this house. Let me just make my way over here. Come on. So this is the T60 Power Armor. It's a Fallout collab, in case you didn't know. And you can just simply talk to them to get yourself the Tri-Beam Laser Rifle, which, honestly, I, I don't really like that much. I tried it a couple of times. It really doesn't suit me so it's for 300 gold you can get a nuka cola which is very op for healing for 120 gold you can hire of course t60 power armor for 200 gold or you can just ask them about a bunch of stuff including the nuka cola itself so the exact location for t60 power armor is going to be right over here so west of mount olympus uh, uh north of red line rig right around this area so you can go there and just talk to them and yeah that's it if you want to talk to a triage trooper, you need to make your way to this hospital, uh, I guess, hostel looking thingy. And just make your way to this spot right over here. There's going to be this place north of this gas station between Reckless Railways and Grand Glacier. And you're going to find them on top of this tower. Here we go. So this is him right here, triage trooper. And you can talk to them. You can either uh, uh, get a Harburger SMG, an epic version for 300 gold, or you can hire them. He's a medic, apparently. He gives you uh, like uh, health items for 200 gold. Or you can just talk to them and just ask him about anything. So this one, anything strange. If there's something I can help with, I'm here. I've been looking over my shoulder for a while now. I'm always on edge these days. Every so often, though, I feel like I'm being watched. But there's nothing, never anything there. Okay, so <laughs> that's the basic idea. Just make your way over here and talk to them. And yeah, that's it. If you want to talk to Vengeance Jones or Jonesy, you need to make your way to this windmill location right over here. And you're going to find them literally next to the windmill, as you can see right here. You can also find this like uh, shadow briefing right here, which is uh, also very useful. So this is Vengeance Jones. Let me just ping the location for you guys. It's going to be right here. So southwest of Nitro Drone, pretty much, right next to the uh, train tracks. And you can simply just talk to them to either get yourself a uh, to get yourself a, a, a Thunder Burst SMG, the epic version, for 300 gold. Or you can get the Shield Bubble Junior for, for 100 gold. And yeah, that's it. 